Hey everyone, Eamon here, back with our NRL round 22 uh, reaction recap, all that. Um, yeah, so we did a stream on, what was that, Friday, Saturday afternoon for you guys, I believe, uh, Titans Broncos. Um, yeah, it was not a good game. Uh, we saw we saw the Broncos season end pretty much. Titans had a, yeah, that was an insane second half. The Titans just completely took over. Titans, yeah, I don't know the Titans. I like... I don't know. I've been drawn to them a lot of the year. Um, I hope they make a little run here at the end. Um, there's a handful of teams I feel like that are right at the right, right at right at the cusp of making it, and just one of them is going to win out and, and make it. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, so we are going to react to the week. Uh, we'll take a look at the draw after, figure out a game we're doing. I believe we are doing. Is it round 23 or 24? Might be this round where it's Storm Panthers. Maybe it's the round after, but we'll take a look anyways to see. And then, yeah, I didn't. Um, I actually asked in the Discord what the best uh, women's NRL game th was this week. I didn't get a reply, so I'm just going to look at the best moments of the week, which I saw the uh, NRLW uh, YouTube channel uploaded. So that should be good. I'll probably start looking at that like every every week for the NRLW, and then look into a game as well if someone suggests one. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, join the tipping leagues if you haven't. Um, Sub the channel. We're almost at 3,000. I believe we're at 20, 2,900 just about at this point. So, yeah, it'd be awesome if we get to 3,000 before the start of finals. And, yeah, comment your thoughts on the week, all that stuff. Let me know, like, if there's a game you'd like to see me react to in the coming weeks, let me know for sure. I'll try to get to it. And, yeah, let's just hop into it. Alrighty. So, first up, we have Cowboys or Tigers Cowboys. Um, I do know. Um, a lot of the scores this week, I've, I've actually had a hard time, um, as I've gotten more and more into, into the NRL, I've had a hard time, like, avoiding spoilers, because I, like, I want to check out the other games that are going on and stuff, especially with, like, how close the standings are right now, I'm, like, yeah, I keep spoiling myself, because I'm, like, I want to just, like, watch, watch games and stuff and all that stuff, so, I do know who won this one, I believe it's a Cowboys win, I think it was... I, Cowboys by 18, I believe, is what happened. But I had Cowboys by 16 as my pick. Right, let's just see what happened, though. We are underway. Harvey Norman women in league grounds. What a round it is. What are these uniforms? A big game. Those are really Morris sick. Out, here's the last. Those are the Tigers? Yeah, why are they purple and, like, that is an awesome jersey. The gradient is so nice. Sorry, what just happened there? I was just, I was too busy looking at the jerseys. Ooh. What was, didn't someone just get worked out of nowhere though? I didn't have the ball. Huh. Those uniforms are awesome though. Alright, tie game. And he opens the Cowboys account. That was lovely playing the lead up by the Cowboys number nine. Or two out for Cowboys. Oh, a little kick. Jeez, drink water. He's got all the skills. Little Lange. Lange. <laughs> yeah, man, I can't, I can't get over nice as those Tiger jerseys are. I'm really not a huge fan of them, but those are awesome with those colors. Nice. Yeah, there's just no defense right now. Let me know what those jerseys are for, though. They don't look like they have the uh, indigenous stuff on them. So I don't think they're their, 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 it's not their indigenous jerseys. There you go. 18 10 at the half. Yeah. Cowboys. Oh, good offload. He got help, yeah. There we go. Nice. What a run. Crazy. Oh, jeez. Ooh, that was a huge collision. Was that high? Are they saying that's high? Let me see. Oh yeah. Oh, the meat. Was it high? It was like right. He's got the whole body to aim at. There's a high level of force. Direct to the head. He's off. Yeah. Oh, we send off. Okay, this is what happened in this game. Okay, so they were down a man for 30 minutes. Holy. That explains why this game got out of hand. Oh, what a pass. They say, are they saying forward pass? No. Okay. That was like a trick play. Oh man, that was a crazy pass. 
The angle he had his hand was like risky. Alright, so now that's what is that? 16, 18, 18. Jeez, they just scored like a ton in like five minutes. Oh my god. Jeez, did he get that down? Did, okay, yes, he did. Alright, so they, they legit scored like 20 points there in like 10 minutes. Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh, the passes. No way, Galvin. Dang. Great play. That was awesome. Yeah, they didn't get a couple of tries here with the, with the send off. Wow, what a run again. Okay, so they got. I mean, they're not close yet, but they got some tries despite going down a man. Just gonna get a turnover here. Nope. Oh man. Oh, the guy fell over. He's gone. Going for the hat trick. No, no, pass it off. Yeah. Oh, what a what a tackle. Yeah. Dearden. He covers at 14. Yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised it took them that long to start score again. Okay, 42 24. Ooh, what a catch. There you go. He scored the first try of the night and he's grabbed himself a second. Samuel Afainu doing really well off the short dropout. He got it and has gone over for the Tigers. Oh, that was bad. Yeah. The Cowboys by 16. And then they get the conversion, I guess, to make it 18. Crazy. 48-30, so by 18. So that's crazy. The uh, Yeah, the Tigers actually scored like 20 points with the send-off. I guess that has been an issue for the Cowboys though all season. They kind of their defense isn't great, so they gave a lot despite being with the send off. But yeah, anyways, let's look at the comments. Are they gonna load today? What's going on here? All right, so let's look at the comments. The internet is working now apparently. That was sound was ridiculous. How could five one take out the head of a six five guy like that? Very so easy one with that send off. As we can see why Cowboys like Holmes walk, gun and attack, recall lacking in defense, 78 points in 80 minutes. Didn't say much for the team's defense. Yeah. How on earth is that a hijack on a send off? Yeah, lots of people blaming the send off. Okay, let me look, let me look at the send off again. Because I didn't think it was. Where was it? Let's take a look at it again just before we. Was that it? Yeah. That was a pretty bad angle. Here we go. This should be a good one. I think he did catch him in like like right under the chin or on the chin when he went in, but it's hard to tell from that angle. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's yeah. I'm kind of on the side of like, like severe punishment for any type of like even borderline stuff. Just get rid of it entirely. So you don't even try. But I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? The, the angles they showed weren't great. We had an angle showing the like the actual contact. All those angles were from behind. Kind of you couldn't really see exactly where it hit. I'm sure they had proper angles though when they reviewed it. Um. Anyways, okay. We got Warriors Eels up next. Uh, I had Warriors by 26. I know what happened in this game as well though. Um. So that's, yeah, that's crazy. Um, not sure what's going on with the Warriors, but that's, yeah. I don't know how they lose at home against a bottom feeder when they're trying to make a finals run. That's crazy, but let's just check out what happened. Let's go. Warriors, the first touch. How fast does this go poorly? Ooh. Sean Johnson's back? Yeah. Yeah, I heard he did not have a good game, so we'll see what happens. Jeez. Oh, what a finish. That was sick. 17 minutes in. Okay. Wonderful try to start the match. Tongue was in. Absolutely great try here from Paramedic. Yeah. Paramedic still with the ball. Now Brown moves it across Lussick. It is back to one. Off of Hangawi. 
He takes it to ground again. Still four to come here. Oh, he's grabbed and went. No way. Jeez. Yes, another great try. That commentator just gave me like hockey commentator vibes. Strong carry in behind the rock. Shouting out scoring. Usually, yeah. <laughs> I get that, like that sounded like the same tone of a hockey commentator. It's funny. Ooh, good passes. There you go. Tui Vasa check. Yeah, this commentator sounds a lot different than the other commentators I've heard. He's, he's, he actually does sound more like a hockey guy, the way his, he's like calling the game and stuff. Johnson. Johnson. The short dropout. Paramedic with position. Gutherson. Oh man, what a pass. What a handoff. Jeez, okay. 16 4. Should be an easy conversion, 18 4. Look at that wonderful work. Look at that. Just drifts across. He knew he saw inside shoulders turn in on him. And Dejan Asi is there, Barry. Gotta enjoy that from the young man. Paramedic. Okay. 20 minutes left, 18 4. Still Paramedic. Man. So many holes for the. Jeez. All right. Okay. This is not good at all. Twenty-two should be twenty. What is that? Twenty twenty-four four. Yeah. I love you, Storm. What? Is there a player named Storm, or is that just a random lost Storm fan in Auckland <laughs> watching the Eels Warriors game? They've really came here and tested the Warriors out at Go Media Stadium in front of their home fans here. Still three to come. The Eels. Now Brown. Oh, jeez. Where is the... Yeah, jeez. They're just finding holes everywhere. Brutal. And they're like, they, every conversion is going to get hit, too, because they're just like... There's no pressure after they get it. Jeez. Crazy. Man, the Warriors sucks. Thirty to four. Sheesh. This is going to be like, I didn't see exactly what the margin was, but oh, there we go. Okay, there's one for the crowd to go home happy at least. Not happy, but. Alright, Johnson. That was a good end up. E to BZ. Good pass. There you go. Oh, what a tackle. Oh, is that a pen? Rock interference, yeah. A bin? Okay, so the Warriors had it. Oh, 20 points is a lot. Nice. Good assist. Good assist. Good try. Man, 20 points in six minutes, five minutes, that was, they not 20 points, uh, 14 points. That's like impossible, I feel like. Yeah. Nice. All right, so they got, yeah, they got a couple of tries in a row, but 30 to 20? Yeah, 30 to 20, so it was Eels by 10. Jeez, man, the Warriors. Come on, guys. They're, I think they're pretty much eliminated as well, right? After after that, um, Sean Johnson and CHT see you can miss the most conversions this year. Once again, new ones. Sean Johnson was named the team. Was was lose. How do you lose at home to a team second last in the ladder? That's also missing Moses. Yeah, that's crazy. That's like a must. You can't lose that game. Only good thing about this game was the commentary. More of him, please. Okay, so the, people notice that as well. So this is like a new guy that's doing a game. Um, Sky Sports coming for every Warriors game. You can't get any more from that than already possible. Commenters, commentators for his home games are usually Glenn Larm Larmer and Monty Bethan. This dude's a different guy. Okay, yeah, so this guy is a different guy than his usual. So yeah, I, I quite enjoyed him. He definitely sounded more like, um, like I, I haven't really disliked any of the commentators I've seen for NRL, but this guy seemed like, he, remind, he, he definitely reminded me of a hockey guy, the way he was calling stuff. Um, anyways. Yeah, Johnson knocking the retirement door. Yeah, it sucks. Um, shocking performance. Yeah. Yes, lot, lots of guys love this commentator. Awesome. Yeah, okay, glad I picked up on that. You guys seem to agree in the comments. Awesome. Hopefully we see more of them uh, 
next year, I guess, if he's or, or another team hires him, maybe. I don't know. All right, so we got Dolphins, Roosters. I had Roosters by 10. This is, yeah, Dolphins are right in the mix, right? Roosters are chasing chasing a minor premiership. They're just outside the top two. Um, I Did I get spoiled? But I don't think I got spoiled by this one. So we'll see what happens. Dolphins, Roosters. Roosters by 10. And we are underway. The Roosters kick off. Dolphins with first use of the football. And Jesse Bromwich with the opening hit up and a wall of Roosters in there driving him back. Ten away from the line. Smith. Walker. Keery, quick oh, man. Jeez, what a take. Oh, there you go. Four minutes in. Time. Okay. Sorry. First flood to the Roosters. Walker. Little chip over the top. Yeah. Nice. What a play. Jeez, okay. Is, it, is this going to be a route? It's already... Should be... Uh, yeah, 12 0. It's like eight minutes in when that happened. Crazy. Is that guy's name Gromit, they just said? Shout out Wallace and Gromit. There you go, Dolphins. Okay, well, this is a high scoring game so far. 12 6, 17 minutes in. Oh, no way. And then he keeps. No way. Sam, oh, was he hurt? Uh oh. Oh yeah, that's Walker. Okay, yeah, Walker's yeah, Walker's really he's really young, right? Walker. We were talking about him in my uh, in my stream this week as like uh, talking about a bunch of different guys that were uh, young and like potential stars or stars right now. I think so, I think some of you guys are saying he might sign somewhere else, or he's like, yeah. Oh, what is going on here? Jeez. He's and there's a fly in my room. Get out of here. Oh, that's a pen. Simbin. Yeah, commentator said Simbin. No call? That was weird. There you go, Dolphins. Nice. Oh, what the, the hustle to get the conversion. A good conversion spot. High game, man. I guess it was 20 20 at the half. That's crazy. Oh, what a. Th no way. That was sick. Bad defense there, but. That was awesome. Look behind you. There you. Oh, what a play. Run, 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 Dom Young. There you go. Jeez, the hammer. The Dolphins with the six point lead. Holy. Oh, what a, what a pass. I mean, it wasn't a great pass, but amazing, amazing to get that over them for the Roosters. Okay, this, this was like an absolute banger of a match. I should have watched this one. There you go. What an offload. Oh, who's hurt there? Dolphins guys looks badly hurt. Roosters though. There's a try. What happened to the guy on the ground there? Let me know if they're they not sure what happened to him. Let me know what happened to him. He looks like he might have been knocked out. Okay, interesting. Jeez, okay, what is... What the hell just happened there? That was so weird. The commentator didn't say anything for like a while there. It was like a weird, slowly building play. That seemed too easy. Oh, what a pass. Ooh! The hammer just got absolutely smoked. Is a late, late hit, they're saying? Where even? Oh, yeah. No, it wasn't high. He barely hit him, I think, yeah. It's contact with the head, with medium force. It's on report and in the bin. There was head contact, okay. I didn't see any, but it, I was like, there's so many bodies right there, it's hard to see. Oh. Nice, there you go, Bostock. Is his sister in the NRLW yet, or is she not debuting yet? Um, maybe I'll look that up after this. She was like, they're saying she's like a superstar, and when we watched the U20 Origin, the favorite team she's on there. What up there? Okay. He's got the kicking duties. Yeah, so he's just taking the kick and then they'll go up to try to score. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, they, they took it. Okay, so they couldn't get down. Dolphins big, big win for the Roosters. Dolphins almost took it, but yeah, so Roosters by six, I Roosters by ten, not too shabby. Yeah, the Roosters, man, I've, I've said it, I've been saying it the last few weeks, but the Roosters are definitely the third best team, I think. And I wouldn't be shocked to see them win the whole thing because they've been awesome to watch when we watch them. But um, Roosters sure know how to make the team feel like, how to make the win feel like a loss. <laughs> it's so hard to watch the Roosters who have a top four attack on the bottom eight defense. Okay. I don't know what's worse. Roosters defense or Kafusi's haircut. Tedesco should have been binned. Uh, Teddy protected spy, uh, Teddy protected species. 74 points in 80 minutes is becoming basketball. Cannot wait till Perth gets an NRL team. When's that happening? I mean, you guys were talking about expansion, but um, yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess the, like, yeah, rugby league's not as popular on the east side of Australia from you guys are saying, I believe. It's more, yeah. Walker's a beast. There's no way we have a chance with that defense as a Roosters fan. Okay, so I, di I didn't really know about the Roosters defense being this poor. I'll take a look at that in the ladder, though, when we get to that. Um, yeah, their offense is obviously insane, so if they can type it up. Um, anyways, well, let's move on. We got Titan, Titans Broncos. This is the game we did a stream for, so if you want to check out my reaction to the game, uh, you can go to the description or they'll click the live tab on my channel, and the game will be there. And you can, I have like the time codes, or not the time codes set up, but I have the, I have the scoreboard visible, so you can like click through if you want to see my reaction to each like score, I guess. Um, yeah, it wasn't, uh, Bronco, I mean, Walsh started off amazing. Didn't he, he had, yeah, Walsh had two sick tries at the start, and then he had like a bunch of defense, defensive errors and was just like, yeah, yeah, he's he's a polarizing guy. He's so good offensively, but his defense is just terrible. Um, yeah, the Titans, the Titans, um, which is in Con, Con Pereira, and uh, what's the other guy's name? Oh, without spoiling myself, yeah, what's the guy's name? There's the, the They have two really good guys that are young. Yeah, is it uh, Keeney? Keanu Keeney? And then uh, Fafita as well is good, I believe. Let me, for like young players, let me see. Keeney, Pereira, and which Fafita was it? Was it Jojo or David? I think it was Jojo. Yeah, Keeney's 20. Pereira's 22. And Jojo's 21. Yeah. And then Fafita's, this guy's 24. They're like cousins, I believe, as they said. Yeah, so yeah. Titans have a really young group of like players with like star potential i guess or there already are so like there already are stars like Pereira is like insane he's got so many so many tries but yeah um I, I think their odds are pretty low of making finals but yeah they're definitely a team that i am interested in following uh next season and the seasons to come because yeah they have a lot of young exciting players which is awesome to see um left side defense of the broncos is no existing they're clutching at straws yeah young fella keeney has got something special about him well played young man 87 points scored against us the two games at Origin and injuries are to blame. The Walters probably. <laughs> Broncos still recovering from last year's grand final. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, you guys were saying, yeah, uh, 20 minutes away from being champions, missing the same all together with a fall from grace. Yeah. Yeah, so you guys think that might have been what happened? Like, they... I didn't... I haven't, like, watched or seen the finale or the, the, fi the grand final last year, but I believe... You guys have said that they were like winning and then they just completely fell apart in the last like 20, I guess, is what this guy's saying. They just fell apart and choked. You think maybe that is why they're doing so poorly this year? Like they just, the room and the culture got like destroyed from that choke, maybe? Let me know what your thoughts on that are. That'd be uh, interesting to know. But yeah, anyways, my pick for that was Titans by four. They won by like, what was it like? Yeah, what is that? Quick math. <laughs> Man. Math is hard. 22? Is that what that is? 48, 18, yeah. 20, 22. 8, no. Dude, what the? I, I'm literally pulling on a calculator right now because my brain is absolutely fried. 46 minus 18. 20, 28. How <laughs> was I that far off it? Man. Man. I'm going to leave that in the YouTube, in, in the edit, because you guys deserve to see that because I'm so stupid. All right. Storm Dragons. I also saw this. The, there was all this game. I really wanted to see what was happening in it, and I turned it on. I, I think I watched the last ten minutes or so. Um, and yeah, so I had Storm by twelve. I know that didn't happen though. So let's check it out. Here we go. Dragons had a huge win, huge upset, and a huge win. And the catch 
with Jerome Hughes and Big Nelson in the starting side. It's his fourth carry. Great again. Hughes. Oh, what a run that Hughes get off one. Great. Okay. Crazy start. Lua, he looked like he was going to the outside and a big right foot step finds the gap and he just accelerates. Alright, well good start for the storm, but we know how it how it ends. I tell you what, Melbourne Storm coach Craig Bellamy love the fact that Munster, Pappenhausen, Hughes and Grant, the band is back together. It's a great start from Hughes. <laughs> from the line, Sully, Flanagan, long for the Bellin. Hunt now with it. Calls the shot. Good pass. Nice stuff. Dragons. Okay, so they scored right after. Jaden Sewer. Long pass is out to this side, and Pappenhausen was found out. Well, it's it's um, not quite the Bulldogs of last Saturday against Brisbane, but I'm loving the ball movement of the Dragons. What do you say? They, they, you know, Pappenhausen is, is in roadrunner mood at the back. Lovely execution of a kick for Jaden Sewer. Yeah. Enough to uh, have Craig's blood Ooh. pressure go up. Sewer with the ball. Good off load, good pass. Jeez, we're at the middle. Yeah, he's gone, he's gone. Okay, this guy is flying. These Dolphins jerseys, or these Dragons jerseys are absolutely like so bright, so bright red. My eyes are like getting blinded by them right now. <laughs> But I tell you what, this kid's highlight reel is starting to fill up pretty quickly. This is natural football instinct. You're yeah, right this guy has like he looks really pass. tall and he's got so crazy speed. Hammer comes down. Pappenhausen is gone, and Sloan has the speed. I didn't even must have a little drag on there. Oh, good offload. Good offload. Excuse me, guys. Holy. Going right for the end of the half. What a pass. There you go, Storm. Okay. Possible tie game at the half. Yeah, that was awesome. Okay, they missed that conversion. Oh, what a step, dummy. Oh, man. Crazy. Ben Hunt. That was sick. That was sick. When everyone thought the kick was coming, yeah, look at this. Ben Hunt does the show and go back, dummy, inside. and then awesome little step. The fence opened up for Ben Hunt and the Dragons. Sewer looms up in the first half. If you missed it, it was a hunt, exquisite kick to the in goal for Sewer to score. Now it's the dummy and run, and Sewer there in support. The dummy and run, <laughs> right, 18 10, 24 left. Oh, good passes. Lomax. Lomax chipped to himself. Yeah, man, Lomax. Oh, he didn't get it. He bounced. Okay, I must have missed that on the... Uh, I didn't start watching it, I guess, at that point. There you go, Grant. All right, so this is going to be a super close one. I forget what the actual score ended up being, so... I'm done to the wire. Yeah, I came out came out to the wire. Nice job. Okay, just ended like that. Okay. Yeah, it was drains by two. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that's a crazy win for the the standings. It really opens up everything. Yeah, everyone was pretty much saying that the the storm were gonna they're running right at the minor premiership. They're gonna finish first. So that kind of a big upset like that halts that. So now the Panthers and the Roosters could swoop in. Probably more so the Panthers. I don't know if the Roosters. How far the back of the Roosters? It's probably more likely if the Panthers would be the one to swoop in, but the Roosters could as well, I guess. But um, yeah, the Dragons too. Huge win. They're one of the teams that's right in the mix for the final for the finals last couple of final spots. So that's a crazy win for them. As long as they keep keep winning, that they have a chance. Um. Anyways, honestly, it's a brush of fresh air to see the underdog team winning. Win by the Saints is so sweet. Usual reaction from Craig Bellamy were priceless. First win in Melbourne since 1999. Jeez. That's crazy. DeBellin won't get credit for this win, but he's easily the one that set up the Dragons first and last tries his ball playing during multiple defenders and gave up the space to run. Need more of that from Flanagan. Nice. Finally, something to scoff about. Go Dragons.
the two wealthiest clubs meet my underdogs on the same day. What a great day for rugby league. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Uh, Sharks Rabbitohs. This one I don't know the score to, so this will be a fun reaction. I had Sharks by six. I believe the Rabbitohs are pretty much done. A couple of key injuries. I believe, uh, yeah, Mitchell's out for the year, I believe. And then Alex Johnson, I believe he just had a torn ACL. I didn't see if it was confirmed it was torn or not, but it looked pretty bad when we saw it. You could see his, like, Achilles snap. No, no, did I say ACL? Achilles. His Achilles, like, snapped, so... Yeah, he's done for. He might not even be back next year. Those take a long time. But um, yeah, let's just get into this. Sharks have been on a tailspin, so they need to start winning some games. Like I think I, I think I said they could actually like. I guess they have enough points that they probably make it no matter what. But like, if they keep losing, like you never know. There's so many teams behind them that are winning. So let's get into it. I think they might fall in the top four for sure. The Sharks, but we'll see. Kennedy and he gives it off to Roy Sant who brings it forward. Tom on break so from the back of the scrum set play here. Gray doing the feed. He's got so much. Jeez, nice. Did he get that? And he wins the race. The yeah, I think he got it. Was that great? Shot off the back of the scrum it was almost a great defensive play. Let's see. Situation and they grab the oh, no, he, you know, okay, he got it down there. It wasn't even a question. Here they are. Cook. Oh, what a stab. Oh, another step. No way. Oh, he should have kept going. I don't think he needed that last step. Oh, what a grab. Two and one now, two and one. Nice. There you go, Sharks. But he could have gone in more to get for the conversion. Yeah, he could have gone. Why didn't he run in more? Okay, weird. He's hit late here in the middle of the field. You're saying it's a late hit? Oh, that didn't seem too late. I know, right? Kick is a good one from Fletcher Myers. He's on the board. Fletcher. Trindle goes out the back. Kennedy. Late try for the store or for the Sharks. Yeah. No, oh, did he get that down? Yeah, he must have. Yeah, no, I think I think he messed this up. Let's see. Gets the feet up. Oh yeah, that no problem at all. Yeah, you know he got it. Okay. Centre Stone Street is required to ground the ball with downward pressure, which he fails to do. No, he dropped his he pinky. Oh, that's that's like iffy. I feel like he still had it. It was still touching his hand the whole time, but I, I guess he lost possession. They're saying. Oh, what a run! There you go. You get it right back. There you go. Is it the same guy? There you go. He got he got that one that time. <laughs> All right. There you go, buddy. You made up for it. Stone Street. Oh my God! There's no way. Denied another in this opening half. There's Talakai. He runs on the outside shoulder. Oh yeah, they are saying interference. He's knocked uh oh. Sifa <laughs> Talakai runs at the outside shoulder. Of no Cameron way. Murray and Penella taking advantage. We have a decision. <laughs> oh my God! Back to back and denied. That's crazy. All right, so six four and a half for the Rabbitohs. Is that? Does he have it this time? I think he had it for sure. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Stone Street. <laughs> Eight six. Here's Cook at a dummy half. Puts a delayed rubber in. It's a good one. Trindle under pressure. Oh no! Uh oh! What is happening? No way! This. What? That's. Double knock on. Knocked on into a defender playing on at this point. It can also Just say the end of Kaloma Tangi. Off the head. Off the head of Damien. The Cook. hand there, then. Like to look at the initial loss again I, by Trindle into Cook because you could make a case it went off Cook back into Trindle. I can't believe it. Jeez, hot potato. I, I am stunned. Damien Cook knocks the ball forward into the Vanilla player who then also knocks on. We have a decision. Okay, no try. Interesting. That was a that was a complete shit show right there. So, oh, what a wow! Pure strength right there. Two and one. Yeah. There you go, Sharks. Twelve six should be fourteen six. Yeah, that that right there was nasty. Just ran that guy over. Talakai. Yeah, fourteen six. There you go. 18-6. Hey, 
perfectly weighted rubber from Trindle. Sits up beautifully for his, I swear his hind isn't playing. In behind Gagai. Is he hurt or is, is he benched? All right, 26. All right. In the Shire. Is it, they're staying in the Shire or am I crazy? That's low live ladder here. 36, 32. Okay. Yeah, Cornell's in a good spot. Okay. Yeah, so look at the comments. A uh, finger on the ball is downward pressure. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought it was. Okay, so pe that, people agree with the six seven. It's the most liked comment. Yeah, so that, that's what I thought I saw. I thought he looked. Yeah, he possession. He only like, poked it with his pinky. The ball had downward pressure. Yeah, same thing. Okay, it used to just be maintaining contact. Now it has to be obvious downward pressure. Okay, that, I guess that. Yeah, that makes sense. I guess. And are way too strict on late tackles. Canella center backs are elite. Most people say in the bunker. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Big one for the Sharks, though. They had to win that. Obviously, you gotta beat the you gotta beat the bad teams. And that, yeah, that pretty much that's the Rabbiters are done after that. Um, okay, we got Panthers Knights. This was a game I was very excited to watch. Um Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Knights are one of those teams just on the outside looking in, or are they in it? Are they in the eight? I think they're like ninth or tenth. Yeah, Panthers have been absolutely rolling. Everyone's back from origin. Cleary's fully healthy and looking like a superstar once again, so let's see how it goes. I had Panthers by 20. Let's see how it goes. It is time on. Adam G gets us underway. Cleary kicks towards that southeastern corner here at Blue Bed Stadium. It's Daniel Saifini who will work it forward. Saifini. Play the ball there from Thompson. Oh, Gamble kicks from inside the 40. Ayongi 40 20. Had to keep it oh, in knocked it on. Didn't manage to do so. Terrific kick. Or can I play Campbell. it? Yeah, knock on. Elliot comes out to cross. Short ball here. Pierce Paul putting some pressure on Liam Martin. Did well to hang on there. And now Saifini. Oh, okay, there you go. Saifini. Knights. Early lead. Seven minutes in. The Knights to score first here today. Excuse me. All right, Panthers right in there. Oh, what an offload. Curry, Blue Eye. No, it's nice. Yeah, it's, it's crazy seeing Cleary passing to Blue Eye and vice versa. Like, those are like two. They're crazy. Insane number six, seven. Good passes. Good passes. Yeah. Two and one. All right, should be should be twelve six. Yeah. Ooh. Could have, oh. What was that? What happened? Was a high, tackle. high tackle. Okay. Fourteen six. At the, break. At the half. At the break. That's what you guys seem to be calling it. The commentators. Cleary there pushing up. Comes out the back though to Smith. Martin now. Martin. Oh, he's flying. Oh, man. He's laughing. He's laughing at him. Yeah, Martin's sick. I loved watching Martin in, in the origin. I think I said a few times. He reminded me of like the third stepbrother in the stepbrother movie. There you go, Knights. Okay. Man, are the Knights going to upset here? That'd be crazy. 14. What happened? Oh, jeez. The fact that Gamble is standing still. Okay, they just turn forward no pass. Forward momentum. Braley. Okay, okay. 14 12. Jeez, Knights. Oh, huge tackle. Uh oh. That's crazy. Okay, I guess it, I guess it was a play on. We are going to look at this. Okay, look at it. Well, the bunker intervening. We'll see. Oh, yes. high tackle. Uh oh. oh. We have a decision. This will be no try. Sinbin as well? No. There's just no try. Oh. Jeez, okay, this is getting tight for the Panthers. Oh. Oh, yeah, that was. I don't know if he meant to do that, but. Okay, high game. Jeez, yeah, I don't think he meant to do that high tackle. He just kind of ran into him, but. Larry. Oh my god, man. He's so good. He's so good. How did he do that? He just spun out of that tackle and put it down. 
You see this? Two guys. He like ducked and spit spun. Good steps, good steps. Oh, he's gone. How did that happen? Oh, that's a sin bin. Oh, no, it wasn't. Jeez, okay. I thought that was high. No, he just caught him right in the chest. What a tackle. That looked like it was a head a hit right away, but no, I guess not. Knights. There's no option to pass. Nice, sucked him up. What happened to this guy? Oh, what a kick. Interference. I saw interference. Was there interference there? I thought I saw. No, was there not? Let me see. Let me watch this slow motion. Right here, this guy gets hit by one of these guys, I think. Right here, this guy stops him up. Yeah, is that not a... I guess he didn't really have... He wasn't going to make it anyways, I guess, is the call there. But that seemed like it was a penalty. Guess not. All right, six-point lead. Three minutes left. Oh. Oh, big tackle. Damn, I think he could have got that if he kept going. He kind of stopped up. High is that high? Yeah, another penalty. Okay, 22-14. That's it. That's game. So by eight, 22-14, yeah. It's hard to beat the Panthers yeah. here at Penrith. Yeah. Good good win for the for the Panthers. Nice try for the for the Knights. It looked pretty good there. Um, let's check out the comments. Tiger Center sent off two of the same tackles, no send-offs. The hit was worse than Olam's tackle and the only other report, no send-off for Sinbin. Where in the rugby league world were the Sinbins? <laughs> okay, so lot lots of people yeah, lots of people talking about the like the inconsistency with the refing which glad to see that that's like worldwide sport wise i feel like every sports league the, the the officiating is just like so weird like it's just inconsistent like crazy um anyways yeah big, big win not really a surprise there though uh, i panthers by 20s panthers by eight so good job knights you messed up my margin all right last game of the week is bulldogs raiders this is another game i almost did a stream for but i didn't get around to it but yeah bulldogs by four is my pick uh, I wouldn't be shocked to see the Raiders though, because yeah, they um yeah, the Raiders have some nice players. They've been they've been pretty fun to watch when I've seen them. But yeah, the Bulldogs, I believe, are undefeated at home. So we'll see if that happens again. Bulldogs by four. We're underway Sunday footy. The Bulldogs are fun to watch in 2024. A combination of the dogs of war and the entertainers. Jamal Fogarty goes for an early kick, looking for a 40-20. Yeah, if he gets a bounce, it will be a 40-20. One more bounce, it'll be over. Oh, well, oh what a grab by the Bulldogs. Nice job. Team, oh, he dragged him out. He dropped it again. He got it, he got it, he got it. Jeez, that was a crazy sequence. Little kick. No way. Oh, interference. Are they going to call it interference? Yeah, he, he pushed him. He pushed him a little bit. Okay, no, nothing, nothing there. Oh, man. What a... Dude, what a try. Crichton. That was just pure power. Holy. Oh, no way. How is he not even on the ground yet? Crazy. All right, five meters. Did you get that? Yeah. Now you got Raiders. Bang. Oh. What happened? Good, good defense by the Raiders? Yeah. Oh, no, it wasn't. Okay. Is that guy's house going to get Josh hit by a ball? 6-6. Six, six. Oh, is that high? Oh, oh, 
No. Okay, there's been a couple like clothesline hits this week. No way. No way. Oh, good D Raiders. Oh, no way. That was sick. Dude, Crichton. Crichton having a game. A little tiny little chip to himself. Right before the line. That was awesome. 10-6. Oh, what a play. There you go, Bulldogs. Crazy. The, yeah, the, the crowd looks crazy at the Bulldog Stadium. I guess that will happen when your team hasn't been good for that long and then you're winning every game at home. That's crazy. Uh-oh. Savage. Oh, great play by the Bulldogs. Great play. Oh, he's mad. He is mad. Uh-oh. 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 The cameraman's, like, right in there. Oh. Nice. There you go. Is he going to finish? 16 12, 20 minutes. Oh, what a little step. Dude, the speed from this guy. That was crazy. Oh, whoa, whoa. Why did he not pass? Jeez. Oh, man. Oh, that was some crazy steps. Oh, he dropped it. No way. No way. What a play. Yeah, he got his hand in there. 16-12, Burton with a crazy kick. What a grab. What a pass. There you go. 20-12. Yeah, what a pass there. 22-12, okay. He lost by 10 right now. Raiders going to make it close here. This could get, make my margin perfect if they get this here. There you go. 22-16. Get, get the conversion. Get the conversion. 22. Get the conversion. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Perfect margin. No. No. Holy smokes. That was a high kick. Ah. What are they doing? Oh, my God. Game over. Did I hit the margin again? Let's go. Bulldogs by four. Let's go. Two weeks in a row, I've got a perfect margin in the game. Crazy, though. The Bulldogs. The Bulldogs. That's awesome. Yeah, the Bulldogs have been super uh, um, fun to watch. Yeah, Crito was a man possessed today. Unbelievable. Crito was on. This is why Creighton was crucial in Dogs' win. Creighton is well missed. The Panthers happy. He's curving up with the Doggies. 2024 Dogs and Dragons equals 2023 Waz and Broncos. 2024 Waz and Broncos equals 2020. Yeah, they like swapped. They swapped. <laughs> Could have to be the best, most consistent player in the NRL today. From the perspective of a Panthers fan, all I can say is up the doggies. Creighton is going to go down as one of the best to ever do it. Awesome, awesome. Feel sorry for the guy suing the Bulldogs who are trying to do hard. He could be playing finals soon. Can make last year's team noise. Interesting. Let, let me. If anyone has any uh, info on this, let me know what that is. I guess there is like a player rights violation maybe last year where the team was like forcing guys to train too much and he got hurt or something because of it. As I assume just based on that context, but let me know. Yeah. The Bulldogs, the Bulldogs have been really fun to watch and they're, yeah, they're definitely, yeah, I believe they were like a bad team in the past and they just like have been doing well this year. So that's awesome. Um, what is this insight into an NRL weight session? we will check that out sometime. Anyways. Okay. Let's do a quick, uh, should I do the moments first? Uh, yeah, we'll do NRL draw and we'll do the ladder. Yeah, we will do the NRL ladder first. Let's hop into this. So we got the NRL ladder. Check, check out this. Uh, Storm Panthers. Yeah, Storm Panthers. Neck and neck. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the Roosters are. Yeah, the Roosters have a bye, but they're not. They're like probably out of it, I'd say. Um. Yeah, what's that? So they'd have 32. Yeah, so it's mainly the Panther Storm. And Panther Storm play each other too, which would be amazing. So I think both teams will probably use their full lineups. I was kind of worried if the, if the Storm did like run away with this by round 24, that they would like bench players uh, against the Panthers. But yeah, it looks like it's going to be, yeah. 
Oh uh, yeah, so sharks. So sharks are four, uh, two points back. The roosters once the roosters buy goes through. Bulldogs right there. Cowboys are ten are actually ahead. I believe is that how it works. Yeah, Cowboys are have twenty have thirty once the buy. Oh no, wait. Am I looking at this wrong? Buys two, played twenty. I might be totally confused. What's going on here? Anyways, okay. Yeah, so these teams. I think these teams. I would say. Hmm. Yeah, the top seven. I think the top seven set here. I think it's just this last spot, like the dragons, dragons, dolphins, raiders, titans, knights. I'd say the the rest of these. These guys are done. Knights, titans, raiders, dolphins, dragons are playing for one spot. Dragons probably are the team that's, that's going to make it, but like. Actually, are the Warriors still in it with the... Hmm. I don't know. It's going to be crazy. It'll be crazy. Um, okay, let's look at the draw next week. See what game we're doing. Um, okay, too late for me. Too late, too late. Raiders, okay, Raiders, Sea Eagles might be the game we do. I think that actually is the game we're going to do. Um, this time, this time slot's perfect for me. The Friday night at 10 for me. I think it's afternoon for you guys on Saturday. We're probably going to do this one. Um, is there any other ones that are good? Dolphins and Warriors might be fun. Knights, Tigers, yeah. You know, we'll do Raider Seagulls next week, and then if I'm feeling good on on, on uh, the next day, I'll do this one too, just because uh, I've, I've been really enjoying watching all the games. I'd like to see the, uh, like, the finals race, so it'd be fun to see the vibe of this, see what happens if the Dolphins win or not. Um, yeah, so yeah, see you guys next week for Raider Seagulls. If, if you're a fan of those teams, hop in there. If you're not, hop in there anyways, and Come talk to me, I guess, because it's fun having you guys around. Um, don't need to look at the stats. I don't really, yeah, I haven't really been caring too much about stats, but we'll go over like points. Um, Isako, Isaac, Isako, Isako, I forgot how you say his name. He's leading the way points wise. Uh, Walker's number two, Holmes, Meany, Lomax, uh, Prayer's four, four try lead for the try title. That's pretty crazy. Um, and then Mariner felt. Dom Young, Tupo, 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 Tupo. I think I'm saying that wrong. I feel like I've heard him, but it's been, been said a different way. Uh, Walker leading with for goals, tackle, tackle breaks, half breaks, try assist, Ben Hunt leading the way. Uh, offloads, uh, Milne, conversion, all kicks, 40 20, short drop loads, tackles, Mahoney's just like, Jesus, man. The amount of tackles this guy makes is insane. Is that a product of the Bulldogs' defensive system? How many tackles he has, or is that just he's just insanely good at tackling? Let me know about that. Uh, Sherry Evans leading the intercept still. Um, all runs, run meters, Raz. Interesting. Edwards still leading the way by a lot in kicker turn meters, despite being injured a bunch lately and it being away from Origin. Savage leading with negative plays. You had geez. All right. Okay. That's good enough. Uh, and then I guess should I do, we'll do, okay. We'll do the NRLW. We're going to do the NRLW best moments here. If you're an NRLW fan, sh please join the discord. Um, I need people that are more like into that. Cause there's not too many people in the discord that like watch or care about the NRLW as far as I know. So if you're an NRLW fan, let me know, hop in there. Um, I'm trying to like react to at least one game a week of the NRLW. So if you, if you can hop in there and like, let me know which game is the best of the week. Uh, that'd be great but yeah so we're gonna do the best moments so that covers like some of the best stuff we see this this week in this round but um i also i'd like to do this and then and a game for our nrw coverage and i'll take a look at the ladder after as well but yeah let's just hop into this see how it goes all right best moments around two nrw oh, this is way too quiet Jeez, straight up the middle good pass Nice run, just straight up the middle. leading from the front. Have a look at the camera Raiders. They are up and about. Was that touch there from Maynard? It's come back to Temer with the kick now. That stadium looks really cool. Jeez, how did she get that? And away goes White. She gonna get this? There's she she's like one v four right now. Oh bro. <laughs> that oh what a tackle. It's your favourite there, Gus. Samoy Matalfa. It wasn't, was it? It was. Upton, Jesse Southwell on to Gallagher. Support on the outside. She'll go herself. Sharon nice. Gallagher. There you go. She's over. The Knights, they 
That came out of nowhere. Alright. Look at this from Kezi Yaps. Tight came to tight, so the, the Tigers women's team is wearing these jerseys as, as well. Let me know what these jerseys are for because, yeah, they're not the usual Tigers jerseys. Oh, jeez, what a step. What a dude, what a tank. That was sick. That was sick. Right. Big kick. Is that a. Oh, is that a knock on? No, okay. Now, Barney Politi tries to link with. Oh, no way. No way. Is that Chapman? Chapman, yeah. She's on the Titans. I thought she was on the Sharks. She's on the Titans. Though. What a run. Oh, man. End to end. Yeah, she's a monster. Australian Jillaroo? Crazy. Great. Finds Colk. On it goes Politi. They whip it across the ground out for Chapman again. Oh man. No way. Dude, she's so fast. That's crazy. Yeah, she's on like another level of play compared to the rest of them. Proving impossible to stop. with nearly 60% of the ball. The Titans have a clear. Oh, what a dummy. Oh, the ankle tap. Pass. That is a... Oh, did she just stop that? No way. What a defensive play. That was wild. Oh, no way. Was that a self-pass? Was it a self-pass? It was. Yeah, it was. Oh, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. Different, different girl. That was awesome, though. Again, awesome Quincy play. Dodd with that little bit of a deft kick out of nine. Tucker Pilotto gets up and plays it back. Press All right, late game here, five minutes left. Oh! <laughs> She's like mind blown that that happened. Off an angle right into her hands. That's crazy. To tie it, to tie it. Okay, I wish I would know what happened there, but. Broncos, Broncos. Oh, big offload. There you go. And the Broncos hit back. Just like that, it's four all. Now for Brigginshaw, got the pass to Chelsea Lenarducci. Floats one back across. They keep it alive. The oh, oh, what a read! The roosters are away. There you go. Over the halfway line. She oh, she didn't get caught. Number five, number five. Over the thirty, it's Jess Sturgis. They're chasing. They're chasing. No, Sturgis. number five round of gas. She was flying. About seventy meters to score for the roosters. Huge play. To go left and get it away to Joseph, then it goes to Adams, and Adams will be dropping oh. the ball. Uh -oh. oh, it's been How'd that happen? Aiken. Aiken's away. Nobody's Aiken, near yeah, it. she's from Origin. She's gonna score right beside the posts, and that yeah. puts them out there you by go. 20. A couple of bad the turnovers there, geez. Back to the center now for Kira Dib on tackle five. It's Holy smokes. Oh, what is that bounce? Oh, oh my god. god. Straight oh, it passed. What a run. Jeez, that was crazy. The bounce there was wild. There you go. It's an egg shaped ball for a reason. What a bounce for the Cowboys. But to yeah, that bounce is just. We spoke about it early on in the crazy. match. She's one of their X Factor players that just turns footy into absolute gold. Manzelman, a tillet. And again, this good pass line. comes back in. Oh, good stuff. Good pass. Ford gets the ball away. It comes across and ends up in the hands of... Oh, there you go. What a handoff. Oh, just runs the through. Oh. And score. Nice. Right beside the post. They go back to back, the Cowboys. Ray McGregor. Nice little kick. Tegan oh. Berry. Crazy. Oh, what a pass. To McGregor. McGregor. Dude, Katoa. some of these passes have been crazy in this video. And she scores there a try this is a crazy high scoring Lawa. game. Right. No time well, left there, right? right yeah. the siren. There's 15 seconds to go, but too little too late. Maybe, but wasn't that a spectacular try? Cool. She, she had a smile on her face the whole way. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. All right. So that was the NRLW best moments of round two. Yeah, like I was saying just before that, yeah. If you're into the W if you're into the NRLW, join the Discord for sure. I need someone in there that can point me in the direction of like some of the better plays to check out. Yeah, there's no there's not even any comments on here to read yet. Okay. Yes, yeah, like I was saying, yeah, just hop in there. I don't, yeah, I just don't really know which ones to like. Yeah, I'm, I don't have the time to react to every single match, right? So, um, I yeah, if you're into, if you're into it, hop in there. Uh, tell me on like Sunday evening for for you, 
Sunday is it Sunday evening? Yeah, Sunday evening for you. Just send me a message on Discord. Uh, let me know, letting me know which game was the best of the week for the NRLW, or if there's like multiple really good games that I'll check out. I'll do a reaction to. Um, yeah, so let's should I take a look at the? I'll take a look at the the NRLW standings as well. Uh, NRL home. Check out what's going over there. L ladder. Uh, ladder. Women's Premiership. Okay, here we go. Titans two and zero. Sharks Knights two and zero. Yeah. Okay, there's only ten teams. So who's missing teams? Storm don't have a team. The storm storm not having a team is pretty surprising to me because they're one of the richer teams, right? The storm. Um, who else is missing a team? Penrith. No Penrith team either. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Let me know why some teams don't have one. I think I would have figured the rich teams would, but I guess not all of them do yet. It's quite interesting. Uh, yeah, Titans have. Uh, uh, Chapman, which is she's obviously insane. Um, is there stats and then an Earl W? Yeah, Sergius Chapman. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I, don't, I don't care for the stats, I don't know. Do that, <laughs> anyways. Okay, well, this uh, we'll wrap up there. Um, what, what game did I say we we're doing? It was Raiders, Raiders, um, Raiders Seagulls, yeah. Yeah, man, there's like a moth in my room. Get out of here, buddy. Jeez. All right, so that was my reaction to the NRL round 22 uh, round. Um, yeah, we, we will be back for the Raiders uh, Seagulls game on Saturday afternoon for you guys in Australia. It'll be 10, 10 p.m. on Friday for me. Uh, should be a fun one. And then round 24, we're going to do the Storm Panthers, most likely. There is a chance I may not be able to stay up that late. I'm going to have to work in the morning. I am, that'll be TBD. Oh, my God. This moth is pissing me off. Holy smokes. Um, yeah. No, good round. Um, yeah. The, the finish to the season it seems like it's crazy. Is this like a usual finish where it's like super tight like this? So you don't know who's going to finish where? Um, there's the front minor premiership still for grabs, mainly between Penrith and the Storm, though. So that'll be fun, fun to watch them in two weeks. And yeah, I guess, um, yeah, yeah, let's wrap it up there. Uh, make sure to join the tipping leagues if you're not in there. Uh, make sure to sub if you're not, like the video, comment your thoughts on the round, all that stuff. Um, yeah, we're just, just about at 3k subs, so it'd be awesome to hit that pretty soon. And yeah, join the Discord, like I was saying, especially if you're an NRLW fan, get in there. We have a lot of NRL fans, not, not too many NRLW fans in there, so that'd be great to have some more, uh, people in there that are yeah that are supporting both sides and yeah let's just wrap it up there um yeah thanks for watching have a good one hey puppy and i think rose is about to join the reaction for a second so let, let us check that out you gonna come here come on come say hi come say hi there she is we will say goodbye with rose here first oh. hey buddy. Your dog toy, we found this someone. She has been doing the show of this lately. There he is. All right. All right. <clears throat> okay. See you guys. <sighs> Rose. What you doing?